Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
says the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now this is not what you heard but trust me in God. Where you're going is going to connect you to your destiny as far as matrimony. But that's not the destiny God calls you to in this world. Shoot! It's alright. But it's a connection. It's going to all work out. Yeah, Can you trust God? Trust Him. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Y'all, if you can't record it, baby, I'm done. Yeah. Uh, one word. One word. You have to go by way of Pittsburgh to your destiny. That's not it. But see, we know in part and we promised something about it. Say that was there. Well, that's the road you gotta take, so it's really not wrong. Ah! Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you got it. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hand. You know, when God does something, it's like we know each other well. Ain't that right, Eileen? Okay, we all running buddies. Praise the Lord. Um, I want her to take a few minutes. We're doing good for time. To share. Okay, I want to pray for you in the glasses. Come to me. Uh huh, to the, oh God. Yeah, come to me. Oh God. Oh God, come to me. Thank you. 
First of all, I want to say, it's all right. We'd like to thank you for allowing us to be here. You know, I was telling someone earlier that I thought I knew why I came today, but I found out totally different. I know why I'm here, okay? To receive, and that's what I did. So, just to let you know, we are from a company called Bankers Life Insurance in Colonial Penn. I'm sure you've heard of that. And uh, we've been around for over 135 years. And uh, well standing in the community. So our products, what we uh, offer, and we like to educate people on, is we do life insurance, but we also do retirement income. We also do long-term care. Seventy percent of people 65 and older one day may wind up in a long-term care facility. That costs a lot. We talked to the young lady in the back of the room about that. She's in that business. So um, we also offer critical illness, which is a living benefit for people that may have in their family cancer, heart attack, stroke, and stage renal failure. We offer those benefits. We also offer juvenile policies for grandparents that may want to get something on their grandchildren. So um, we, we offer these things. We educate people about Medicare and Medicare supplemental plans when that time comes. So um, we're back there. If you'd like to come back and talk to us or if you want us to make an appointment for you at some point in time, please, please do. Thank you very much. Thank you for letting us come and talk. I cannot tell you how many times we've gone into homes where people say, you know, we had to take up a collection to bury my sister, or we had to take up a collection to bury my mother, or we had to hold her body out for three weeks because we didn't have the money. You know, it's bad enough when one of your loved ones dies, but then when they don't have insurance, that puts such a financial burden on your family, I cannot begin to tell you. So it's really important. And I never thought about it when I was younger, but my, when I was 22, my mother made me get insurance. And you know, young people think they're invincible. Right. And now more than ever, yes. now more than ever is the time to look at it. It's about leaving a legacy for your family. Yes. I wanted to leave and make sure that if anything happened to me, that I could put my son through college. Right. That, that I could, could help him, give him a leg up in life. Because nobody else is going to do it. I wanted him. I asked God to give me my baby, and he did. So it's up to me to provide for him in, in, in my presence and without my presence. He shouldn't have to struggle like I do. It's not fair. So that's what we try to make sure that people understand that. And I just wanted to say something else. My mother is a five-time cancer survivor. Five times. She had it. The first time when she was in her 40s, and it's a blessing. She's 88. She is 88. So I just wanted to say that. But we have cancer policies. It's like, what, two and one in every two women and three in every two, what, one in every third man? There you go. And so that's. That is going to be, unfortunately, that will be some of us in this room that will be afflicted with some form of cancer, heart attack, or stroke. We have benefits that will actually pay you if you ever come down with those type of illnesses. Because a lot of times you don't die, but you're incapacitated. You have to worry about bills and what am I going to do while I'm still trying to recuperate. We have insurances to cover you. So I just wanted to say that. Thank you for allowing us to come up and speak. And thank you for inviting me here. Just talking to you, I already knew. Just talking to her on the phone, I already knew. So it's been a blessing. And this has been a wonderful experience that I will never forget. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have some things in the rear. There's a Mary Kay table. My sisters, they got, she got through talking. Has a table back. You should go back and visit that table. Uh, we, I also have a table in the back. 
They have some really nice plaques there for a small donation. You're welcome to um, get one of those. And uh, I just want to thank everybody. If I start naming names, then I'm going to miss somebody, and it's not going to be right. So y'all forgive me for not calling out everybody individual. But I want to thank God for you all coming and for my lady bugs that stood by me, that filled the room, that did all that you guys did. God is blessed, and I am just so honored. Amen? Amen. Amen. A sister, <clears throat> come on, sweetie. Danielle wants to share a quick word, something the Lord gave her. Praise the Lord, everybody. I know you thank everyone for coming, but thank you for the vision. Thank you for this vision, and thank you for trusting God enough to go forth. Not because you went forth, we can go forth. And we bless God for you. And we thank God for you. Um, I want you to know that um, our senior ladybug, senior as in CEO, um, Lady, Ladybug Incorporated, she does counseling. Mental health is very important. Mental health is very important. And I want to let um, let you all know, I was sitting in my office one day about three weeks ago, and I called her in tears because I was very overwhelmed at my job. I was not happy there. I was not happy in my big, pretty office with my nice staff. I just wasn't happy there. It was time for a move. Because of her spiritual guidance, I was able to be catapulted into my true destiny. And that is a marketing director at one of the richest senior living companies in the nation. I want you to know that it's time for you to take charge of your life and seek the help that you need. I needed help and I was not embarrassed to tell her I need help. We all need help and I want you to know that her services are available. This is a true woman of God. If you are seeking counseling, if you are seeking a spiritual mentor, this is the woman for you. God bless you, and I'm not going anywhere. Amen. Please leave your name at the back table if you are seeking mental counseling or spiritual counseling. I guarantee you, with her helping you, with her guiding you through the power of God, you will move forward in your destiny just like you deserve, just like God intended for you in the first place. Say amen, somebody. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. We've got a couple of quick events coming up on uh, June 19th. June 19th. Uh, we'll be having a ladybug meeting. There are flyers in the rear. Miss Lee, are they there? Yeah, there are flyers in the rear. So you can have the address. We'll have another meeting. Uh, Sister da da Danielle, Sister Danielle, come, baby. Come. Because I wanted you, you know, hold on one second. She was talking about um, hooking up, but I, I want you to be a part of Ladybugs if the Lord says the same. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord again, everyone. I believe that um, all of us, you all know that you are already feeling different. You're feeling tingles. The tingles that you're feeling is the Lord. The tears that you shed, you'll never have to shed again. It was cleansing for you today. Amen. Has anyone been blessed today? Amen. Amen. Set free. Amen. Amen. And I want you to know that this today is not just a soiree. This is a movement. This is a movement. And you know, bad news travels fast. But not so much about good news. I want you to tell somebody about this movement. Because we, we don't, I don't want you to be delivered and set free all by yourself. It's not fun being free all by yourself when everyone around you is still bound. I want you to tell somebody because this is a movement. And I think we should grow together. Shouldn't we just grow together? Let's just grow together. I hope you will be... Uh, uh, I hope you all have given us your phone numbers, your emails, so we can stay in touch with you, so we can pray for you, so we can hear your testimony and keep you encouraged. For this is the second quarter of the year, and I promise you the best is yet to come. This is a movement, and I am so glad to be a part of this movement. This is a God encounter today. This wasn't church as usual. This was an encounter, wasn't it? Clap your hands for the encounter with Christ 
And Lord, we just ask that the Lord continues to strengthen you and everything that you poured out today. We ask that God fill you back up Amen. for everything that you poured out. And we love you. CEO Ladybug. Ah. All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. There are flyers in the back about our June 19th meeting. Please come and be a part of what God is doing with this ministry on July, is it 28th or 29th? Is that right, Mother? 28th, 29th, Thursday and a Friday. Thursday and a Friday, July 28th and 29th. We are going to be in revival with Apostle Lloyd Hunt. Some of you may be familiar with him. He's a great apostle of intercession. So it's a prayer revival. And so all of you that are part of Ladybug need to be a part of this prayer revival. Because if you are Ladybug, it, your main assignment is prayer. Amen? Is there anything else I need to say? All right. Sunday, no, next Sunday, 
Next Sunday, a week from Sunday, yeah, the 12th. June, the Sunday, June 12th at 4 p.m. And the address, y'all see that beautiful building on 116th. You ain't got to know the numbers, just go over there to the building. 3940 Martin Luther King Boulevard. Please, please, please support this. I plan to attend. And she's got some anointed. Lucretia Bolden is here, gonna be with guest soloist and my brother Earl, which is her brother. And Pastor, who is that? Okay, I don't know him, but we, uh, you got him on, he can sing. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I don't know him, but I'll be blessed when I hear him. Come, baby. I love you. God, thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. I don't want to, I don't want to lose it, but I do, I do want to give honor because we know this is all God, it's all Christ. But I want to honor a man. I need y'all to stand to your feet and give, give him. A great big God bless you, and that's my husband. Because of the kind of man he is, I can stand here today and do what I do for Jesus. And I just want to honor him, my shepherd, chief apostle, the senior apostle, the apostle, the bishop, the doctor, the evangelist, the pastor, the teacher. Apostle Gregory Dorsey, we thank God for you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you been blessed on today? Yes. Yeah. Right. You lift your hands. Father God, we just thank you. We just thank you for this day, Father. We thank you for the words that have came forth, Father God, to bless us, Father God, to change us, to bring us back together, Father God. Father God, now as we go forth, Father God, we just want to ask you for traveling mercies for those that are traveling, Father God. And Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for your presence and what you have done in this place to us and through us and for us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, the boxes that's on the table, take one of the little red boxes, red polka dot boxes. Don't take the base, but that's just a little treat for you. <laughs>